This is an example about C feed variable. Ready, let's go. The figure below shows the light curve of a type 1 C feed variable star. It is found to have a measured flux intensity on Earth of this much. Okay, I'm going to put a big F here for flux. Okay, so the brightness as seen from Earth, hmm, there's a variation in brightness. Okay, okay, noise. So I think um, somewhere here is the peak. So somewhere here is the peak. I'm going to like guesstimate here to be about. I mean, five is the midpoint. Look, if this comes out in Cambridge, they will give you a graph grade. But I think this looks like 5.5. So I'll say 5.5 days. Okay. B, the figure below shows the period luminosity graph, luminosity graph for type 1 C feed variable stars. Cool. Use your answer in A to determine or to rather to estimate the luminosity of the CFID and hence calculate the distance of this CFID variable star from the Earth. All right, let's look at 5.5. So I think, you know, based on the scale, 5 and 5.5 would be roughly at the same spot. So I'm just going to roughly, I don't know, maybe something like this. You know what, I'll draw a line. Okay, so here's my rough line. I rough lila 5, 5.5 days, and I read here. It looks like it's 10 to the power of 3. But checking out the axis, this axis, this axis is luminosity over luminosity of the sun. This is 10 to the power of 3. Okay, and you are given the value of L sun. Now. Okay, it's this one. 3.8 times 10 to the power of 26. Okay, so I think we can estimate the luminosity of the C feed first, L over L sun is 10 to the power of 3, which means the luminosity of this C feed is 3.8 times 10 to the power of 26 times 10 to the power of 3, which will give me 3.8 times 10 to the power of 29 watt per meter squared. Remember, luminosity is actually just power. Power per unit area. Okay, you know, power. There's no per unit area here. Sorry, type wrongly. So that's this one. Ah, power. 3.8 times 10 to the power 29. Okay. B, I'm going to look for the distance of this C feed. So we're going to use the radian flux intensity. Radian flux intensity. F is equal to power per unit area, 4 pi d squared. So this one here is power, and this one here is area. All right, so we have luminosity divided by 4 pi d squared. We are looking for D, which is the distance. And this F, you can just steal it. 500 nanowatt. Okay. 500 times 10 to the power of negative 9. So pressing our reliable calculator. And the answer for D would be 2.459. I guess 2.5 times 10 to the power of 17 meter. Don't forget to square root your D. Ah, it's a D square here, okay? All right, so it's a pretty okay distance. So this is the standard candle technique. We have a standard candle, for example, the sun, in which we already know the luminosity. We could observe this C feet and find that the period of the bright dark, bright dark, or rather, you know, high intensity, low intensity variation is about 5.5 days. We can then pull it into a C feet variable line or plotted of luminosity against days, and then we can just say, oh, 5.5 day. Okay, so this one is 1,000 times brighter than the sun. We can just multiply by 1,000 and then use the radian flux intensity to calculate the distance. Kind of cool, right? It's like, I want to know how far that bright dot is. So I observe the variation in, frequent, in uh, intensity, brightness, and then put it into the graph, 
compare it to another star that I know the intensity of and actually deduce the distance. Big brain science here. Very lit. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.